Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. You're welcome. Welcome you all. All of you are welcome you once again. Okay, so um, I promised to reveal something to you, to you people, the other, the other day. You know, in my in my previous video, I make. You know, I promised to reveal something, something about uh, Adeboye, where Adeboye is taking is one tenth to where he's paying his own tight. I I promise to reveal it too and I'm about to do it now. I'm about to do it. And I will do it I will do it fully for you to understand because I have a lot of things to say. I have a lot. Twelve years that God took me that God allowed me to go down to Nigeria is not for nothing. 12 years without coming back to Europe, without coming back to my, my, my base, without coming back to where I was living. It's not a small something. It's not a small, it's not a small thing. God took me down to show me to naked Nigeria. To naked Nigeria. I don't struggle to talk about things about Nigeria because something you know, Personally, you know, personally, you know, one on one is different from something that somebody is telling you. Something that you know, you know, that you 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 know by yourself, you see by yourself. It's different from some from what somebody is telling you that happened. I was there twelve good years, twelve years. I see Nigeria front and back. I see their nakedness front and back. <laughs> so. I can make hundred video if I decide. I can make hundred video about Nigeria, and it, it it will still be flowing. It will still be flowing in me, and all that I'm saying is truth. Sorry that I'm taking your time so much. Let's go to the point. As I told you, uh, I was I was in Lagos, Nigeria. I was in Nigeria during the time of uh, the lost treason. There, there, there's a time that the lost treason, Lazarus, Lazarus, more more of a lost treason, the time that uh, he had issue with one one woman, that the, the, the lady, the lady, uh, the woman is worshiping his church called the lost treason. The name of this woman is called Chosen Mopo. She dresses like um, in terms they are doing, they are, they, are, they, are, they want to do program, they want to do revival, or they want to advertise their business, their church. The woman dresses like a mad woman, use their banner, use their um, banner and their clothes of their, of their of their church to design to, to wear like a masquerade. So many of you know what I'm talking about. The time that she had she had the issue with the church, she naked everything that is hidden in that church. So when that thing happened, I was in Lagos. So one day in the compound where I lived there, then this Group of people, group of men gathered in the compound. They are talking about what the, the woman is lying, is not true. You know, Nigeria love, love evil. Even when they see it naked, that this, they see truth. They see, they, they see truth, that this is naked truth. They will try to search for something to cover it. They will try to look for a cloth to cover that truth because they don't love truth. They love lies. They love wickedness. So as they are busy, Talking in the compound and saying the lady, the woman is, is, is lying, the woman is, is, is not saying the truth. Uh, maybe once or another, as they are saying it too, I just get down from, from the upstairs. I, I just came down in the compound. And I, and I asked them what I could say. And I told them to close their mouth. I want to talk to them. They are a group of people, group of men, and the, some ladies among them. So I begin to talk to them. So I begin to expose many things that God, the Lord is giving to me, that God is showing me about Nigerian pastors, about Nigerian churches. I begin to expose a lot of things. The same way I'm doing it. God said, the same way God said that I should go ahead and expose, expose everything that is hidden in Nigeria through this my channel that, I, that I'm always unveiling and, and exposing a lot of things that is hidden. So I begin to expose many things about Nigerian churches. I begin to pick them up. All the mega churches, I pick them up one by one. I begin to tell them what they are doing, what is going on in their churches, so they all stay quiet. So as I was talking, there's there's this man, there's one man, a Yoruba man. See, he's a pastor under 
uh, apostolic church. He's a pastor. He, his own church is at Odile, Odile, So he owns his own church there. So but he's live, he lives in the same compound where I live. So the man came out and said, young man, and called me, he said, young man, I heard all that you are saying. And I want to really talk, I want to say something. I said, okay, what do you want to say? He said, if people, if I go out now, I begin to talk about this thing I'm saying. I'm going to say it to people that they will, they will try to stop me. But what I'm saying is true. I said, I said, okay. He said, the man said to me, what you are saying is nothing but truth. That he want to tell me something, want to say something that happened happened to him personally. Want to want to tell want to tell us his story. Want to tell us what happened to him personally. So we all stay quiet. We kept quiet. So everybody stay quiet and this man began to talk. He said that he's a pastor, that he wants anointing, he wants power, he wants to carry crowd. So one of one of his friends, one of a one of his uh, Yoruba men, you know, one of their one of their Yoruba men, called him one day and told him that that he sees that he he is craving for power. He wants power. He wants to really do the work of ministry to do ministry in a big way. That he can help him. So he said, "Okay, how can you help me?" He said, "Don't worry, I will take you to the place, and when I took you there, then you will." know how to do, how to go about your ministry, how to do your ministry and the carry crowd. So, okay, when the, when do you want us to go? And that he's already, he told the Yoruba man that he's ready to go with him anytime he want. So it happened that he day came, so the man took him, took the pastor, I'm talking about the pastor that is in that compound where I was talking to the people that is saying that the choosing of poor woman is lying. So the pastor said a day came here, so he, 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 he left with the man to the place. So getting to the place, see, it's a very strong native doctor in Yoruba land. They call him Baba. So he said, when they get there, so the man to say, Baba, I brought uh, I brought somebody, somebody that need help. So he now turned to sit to, to sit down. So he, he sat down. And the Baba, you know, Baba, you can call him Baba Lawo, no? Baba Lawo. Baba said, call him Baba. So he now asked him, what is your problem? He now turned say, okay, he's into ministry. He's a pastor, he need money, he need he need to carry a crowd, he need to be famous, he need uh power, he need anointing. So the man told him, Okay, you are in the right place. So he told him what to do. That he can't even say say it what the man told him to do. So along the way, the man felt that he is not he is not convinced. So the man told him, say, young man, all this Mega churches pastors, they they, they 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 came here. They 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 visit they they, they, visit, they do visit me. I'm the one behind the affair. I will just go ahead, just go ahead and do what I want to I want to I want to do. He even you you just open the master, you just open the prayer and show him redeem Christian Church of God. There are sticker everything that Adeboye comes here to bring his own tithe to him, bring his own one tent. To him, he told most about the lost chosen. This uh, more account of the lost chosen. He told him that, oh, do you know what happened about the lost chosen? He, he he came here. Somebody brought him also here for power, for for for, for him to carry crowd, for him to 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 have the anointing. What kind of anointing? Devilish anointing, evil power, occultism. So he said somebody brought him. So he. When he came, so he told him what to do, that he should just go ahead and do what he said and uh, see what will be happening. But the man said that he revealed that the Baba Lowo, the Baba, the Baba revealed the secret of what happened to the lost chosen. This this pastor said said it to all of us, to our hearing. He said that the Baba Lowo told the lost chosen. If you get to your house where you are living, just go at the backyard. If you see any animal, anything animal, any animal there, live animal, just kill the animal. If you kill the animal, then if you kill the animal, no problem. You carry crowd. So the lost children, I'm talking about Mocha, getting to 
his, you know, his house where he's living, went to the backyard straight away as the man told him, as the Babalawo told him. And they saw an animal there and they killed the animal. Let's say he killed the animal, the wife died. I'm talking about his first wife. His first wife died. And I have heard the man said that to Lazarus Morka that God called him into ministry, but the wife was a hindrance. And he prayed, and God take the wife away. The wife, and God take the wife away. How can God take your wife away? How can your wife, how can your wife be a hindrance to the call of God upon your life? So the, the moment this pastor said, said this, I said, this man is not lying, because I've heard this man said something like this. So he now said that he did not go back there again. And two, he said that since he, you know, since he did not go back there, that he had been receiving attacks, many attacks, many from there, from there, from, from there. And the two, if you look at this man's life, if you look at this pastor that is living that doesn't compound with me, you will you will know that something is wrong with him. This man is alive, but he's smelling. This man is too ugly. This man is, in fact, is smelling. And this man changes small, small girls like the way somebody changes clothes. They come to him, daddy, 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 he's having sex with small, small girls. You can understand where all these things come from. Both married, both young girls, they go, daddy, on weekends, on weekends, they just come in group. They came to wash his clothes and to clean his house. And this man, you know, keep sexing these two children. The, the, the married will come the night, will sex them. The, the, the secretary is even living with him in the house. Why the wife and the children is, is living at Togo State? So the man, I don't believe him because for one single day, I know him spiritually. I know him very well. I don't know that this one is not their pastor. But he just came down because he knows that I know him very well. He just came down that day to just to to, to reveal this. So he said that people over the world will be seen and we will we, we'll see a Debo Yeo, see all this, uh, uh, TB Joshua, see all this, uh, uh, Kumuye, see the lost, the lost children. They will say, oh, Nigeria, Nigeria have, the, you know, have great men of God. Said, but they don't know that these people are not men of God, that he saw it with his own eyes, that he saw it very, very clear, that he knows the Babala would be the way that what shocked him is when the Babala told him that Adeboye is bringing one tent to him and to bring out and show him the sticker of their church of, a, of a, the day and also show him about a, 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 the lost chosen of, a, of a, the, 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 the Lazarus Morker and show him his own and his own sticker. So, and the other pastor say that there are many say that he was he began to shake. When he, when he saw this, that these are people that is well respected as men of God. No wonder, no wonder each, each year, the lost chosen, last year, last year, my brother told me, when I was talking on the phone, my brother told me that people from my village, from any state, that is going for his crusade, at, at crusade at, that he did, that he might do yearly, that the, the lost just boss, that if, uh, my village report, my village report that is going for that crusade, the, the largest boss that packed all of them, that all of them filled inside, came out on the highway. The trailer crushed all of them to death. I later saw it, you know, saw it uh, on Facebook. Somebody posted posted dead dead bodies of people going for that crusade. Each year, last three years or five years ago, one woman, one and one, I know the woman was also going along the way. Their boss. From Lagos to East, fell inside the water. All of many of them died, but the only one woman survived. And the woman, one on one, I interact with the woman. Each time this man wants to do this, his crusade that they always travel down to East to Umbridi to go and say that he want to do crusade. Human being will die, that will die like ants. The, 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 the level of ardent that will happen and take life is great. Somebody who, who gave his wife, who sacrificed his wife to devil for power. Is it you? You, you, will, not even, you will not have pity. You will not have anything like pity for any other human being. Because this is what devil normally do. Devil will first of all pinch you very, very well so that you know how to pinch other people. How to go about pinching other people. 
So this is what I wanted to know. They are crying tight, 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 so seed, so seed, so seed. You are sowing a seed, you are paying a tithe to this man. And they are taking your money if you are giving it to them. And they are not taking it to devil. It will be a different thing. You give to them, they will take it to devil. And the devil will use it to, manip to manipulate your life, to take your destiny. They, from there, they know how many to, to kill, to, to, to sacrifice for, for them to keep on being, in, being famous, for them to keep on being in power, being in control. You see how I, 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 Matashima is going about shouting and crying for tight? Funke, Pastor Funke, Mrs. Poon Funke, going about shouting about tight? All of them shouting about tight? A devil you will stand and stand on on, on with me to say that if you don't pay tithes, you're not going to go to heaven. Because they know that they are in danger. If you stop giving them that money, the, the devil will bounce on them. Because they are doing business with devil. Okay, so you can see there is no place in the Bible that in the New Testament that God talks about tithes. All that God, God talks about is giving. Giving. Give shall be given back to you. Good measure. Good measure. Press down. Shaking to good down. Running over shall man fall into your bosom. And God said, For God loves a cheerful giver. Give cheerfully. Giving to God's work is all about giving cheerfully, not cheerfully. If you give complaining and you know, in complain, in complain or, or in murmuring, in, in murmuring, God is not interested. Don't no blessings come to you. How much when how much more when people threaten you with fear, you are given in fear, nothing comes to you. They're threatening you with causes, they're threatening you with death, they're threatening you, threatening you uh, 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 of not going to make heaven. Tell them that let's enjoy here first before going to heaven. I told you this. Tell them whenever they begin to threaten you, you cannot go to heaven. Because God, our God is not interested in money. God is, you know, money is only a force here on earth, that when you, you have God, really doing the will of God, money will be at your back serving you. Money is a servant. It's a servant of God. And if you, if you are with Jesus God, and you are doing the right thing, you will not lack, you will not lack bread, you will not lack, you will not lack something to, to drink, you will not lack something to put on, you will not lack something to drive. God will supply all your needs. But they keep on milking you and lying to you and telling you tight, 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 tight. Because tight is of the devil. Because law is of the devil. So it's Old Testament. The law that is hidden, that man cannot fulfill. Christ came to fulfill the law by, by giving himself to me and you. By God giving him to me and you. He, God showed us the pattern of of New Testament, that it is no more by force, it's no more, it's no more by titan. It is now given willingly. Because God gave his son willingly to me and you to die for me. And if he gave his son free, and he wants to give free, give free, give joyfully. God did not give his son in complaining more morning. He gave freely. And God did not threaten the whole world that if you did not give me back. I will not give to you. No. God, God gave. God gave and keep giving. I want to tell you this so that you understand what I'm trying to say. I want you to understand clearly that a lot of evil is going on in Nigeria. And this is the time for all this evil to end. I want you to do yourself a favor. If you want to keep on knowing the letters that's going on, go ahead and subscribe. You subscribe, just touch that subscribe button. You subscribe and touch that bell so that you keep on receiving a new video about what God is doing, doing and what He's saying. All right, so I just want to let you hear this and know why they are crying for tight, for tight, for tight, for tight. If you want to give tight, give because you want to give, but tight is not a New Testament command. It is not a new, a new Testament command. If you want to keep working, you know, working in law, you remember that if you fulfill one law and fail the other, you will die.
that's what they want you to do. They want to hold you. They want, they want you to, to they want you to be in the old. If you fulfill nine nine commandments and fail one, you will die. Because it is law. Bible said the way the way you know, Bible the way, said the, the, way, the Bible also said that the wages of sin is death. So you cannot fulfill, you cannot fulfill the law. You cannot fulfill righteousness by keeping the law. You only become righteous when you receive the free gift of life that God gave to us in the person of his son, Jesus. So when you receive it, you are no more ba bounded. You are no more bounded by any law, any doors and don'ts. You are free. You, have, you are now operating by the grace of God and his grace becomes sufficient for you. God bless you. Very good. God bless you all so much. And keep on studying your Bible. Reading the Word of God is important. You, you will know better than all the people that is jumping up and down, telling you to pay tithe, and they cannot defend this. They cannot defend this biblically. They're only using their evil method. Bye for now. Remain blessed, and see you. See you soon.